Hey, there we go. I can hear myself right off the bat. Right from the jump. Well, I got some clarification on my troubleshooting, so now I know what's up. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good afternoon. Hi there. Uh, my name's Alan Cox. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Why not, right? Let's be pals. <laughs> Uh, hey, Bill Squire is right over there. Say hello to him. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. There's Mary Santora. Hi, guys. No babies. Pound Cakes in Vegas. If you've been following any of his Instagram stories. Did you see the one he tagged me in yesterday? The feet. His feet. They are nasty. He goes, coming for your feet, money, Mary Santora. And I was like, no, you are not. <laughs> Those are good. He got some ashy pigs. Dude, and they're like veiny and dewclaw like <laughs> they're, very... <laughs> they're very, yeah, you can see a lot of bones. And... They're very manly. Yeah. But there's a market for that. They're, I mean, like, a, someone's into everything. Someone's into something. He's so... not He's not coming for your toe pick audience. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he could develop his own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's something there. No, but otherwise, it looks like... Um, yeah, that was bunions. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, it looks like uh, he's doing just stuff his mom wants to do. Mm -hmm. They already did the Grand Canyon. Yeah, well, like the mob museum. Yeah. And, you know, they went to Jabberwockies. And, you know, but he's sure also he'll... probably not posting the stuff that he's doing on his own on purpose. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got to have... I'm sure he's um, keeping some arrows in his quiver mm -hmm. for when he gets back next week, but uh, nevertheless. Or also just because, you know, it's not Keep it on the low? Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want his mom to see. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want the audience to see. I fully understand that. It's your time. You should use it how you want. And document it how you want. Uh, nevertheless, with uh, Pound Cake Not Here, um, I just pick up my own phones. And so uh, that means that, uh, well, we'll spin the wheel. Who knows what will happen. Uh, if you'd like to join us, uh, you can on the phone, 216-578-1007, 800-348-1007-35192, if you want to send a text. Uh, if you're listening on the iHeartRadio app, of course, you can leave us messages there. We'll get some of the talkback messages. Uh, there was, I always, I'm always very, very happy when I see, and I don't recognize the numbers, I haven't committed them to memory, but it always makes me happy when I see, whether it's on the after hours line or on the app. I like when I'll see multiple messages from the same person in the span of 25 minutes. Because it's invariably between the hours of 2 and 6 a.m., which me, which tells me, I infer, they're drunk and just venting, you know. So I always kind of have my fingers crossed that there might be something there. Nine times out of ten, there isn't. Uh, it's just me going through messages and hearing people kind of uh, ramble incoherently, which is fine. I mean, it's, uh, it's certainly nothing I can air. But just um, just to peel the curtain back a little bit. You know, it's fun for me, uh, to some degree, to sit there and listen to these messages. It wouldn't be so fun for the audience. They'd be bored immediately. But when I see that pop up, whether it's Political Joe, who called, I mean, he called midweek, fat face and foot whore. He was oh, talking yeah. to me. <laughs> Me and Mary. I love that duo, And man. he, uh, fat face and foot whore, yeah. <laughs> My daughter, inadvertently, I think, came up with a name for someone who can do the Alan Cox Show video department, by the way. We're at the pool on Saturday. Oh. And she had a, uh, we were kind of playing. You mean she knows a person? I'm sorry? No, no, no. She had come up with a name. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She knows a person. <laughs> she just, she's yeah. got a she guy. She knows yeah. a person that, uh, yeah. that's right. No, we were throwing a tennis ball uh, back and forth, and she had named the tennis ball at some point, and the name was uh, Jelanika Gorbenschmeckel or something like that. And I said, I got to right. write that one down. I'll contact her. Yeah. So I'll see if I can get I'm sure it's probably one of her kindergarten friends' parents or something. You know, I'll put you in touch with mm -hmm. Jelanika. Jill or Ja? Jill Annika. Jill yeah, okay. with a G. Okay. <laughs> so yes. it's Garden Schmeckel? Something, Gorbin Schmeckel? Or, yeah, Schmetel? Mm -hmm. I'd need to figure it out. I don't know. We'll go with Gorbin Schmetel. Yeah, again, okay. these aren't people that I've met, uh, but she uh, mentioned it. And so I said, okay, well, maybe that's something that uh, uh, maybe we'll uh, get in contact with that person. I was reading, and no one sent it to me. I stumbled onto it. I was reading a fascinating article, fascinating to me. Uh, about how um, the origins of Mountain Dew. 
Hey. How it began. You're, you're getting deep with Mountain Dew. You're I not just drinking it. In. You need to know the history. No, I didn't go looking for this. This, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is. Still the, found you. It just came up. The bootlegging moonshine origins of Mountain Dew. This stuff. And to me, this kind of explained maybe why it's the beverage of choice in Appalachia and kind of mm-hmm. those parts of. Because it began um, f- by bootleggers, people who mm. couldn't come up with something they liked to mix with their moonshine. So Mountain Dew not only is a product, but it, beca- it became kind of a, um, uh, it was just a reference to something um, in the mountain ranges of the United States. Bootleggers! I'm a bootlegger! I'm a bootlegger, Jerry! And so, like, in the 1800s, people who referred to Mountain Dew just generically um, equated it with moonshiners, with people who were up to no good. You kids out there might not know there was something <gasps> in this country a long time ago called prohibition. They were near. It was like Roe v. Wade, but for alcohol. They were near do well. Yeah! They were. <laughs> D.E.W. Mary Santora, funny stop. Friday and Saturday, July 15 and 16. Here, I'll give Bill one, too. <laughs> there you go, Pat. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, you never tell him. The moonshiners knew that Mountain Dew was what they called a villainous drink. Ooh. That's right. And so it began uh, It began uh, with moonshiners and bootleggers. As a mixer. As Well, it, I think it started as some kind <laughs> of alcohol product, like corn whiskey. And then they distilled it, like you do with corn, into mm-hmm. a syrup that then became a mixer or something. Maybe yeah. they wanted something a bit more legitimate, but I'll tell you what. And like I said, I prefaced <laughs> it by saying, fascinating to me, all right? I don't. I didn't go looking for this. And, you know, we'll joke about how, you know, the Internet's always listening. This was an article on a website. It wasn't an advertisement or anything like that. But, uh, you know, so, could, uh, who knows? Could you imagine? So, you know that whiskey comes out of the still white. It uh-huh. doesn't get that color until it's aged in the barrels. That's right. Could you imagine if they're, like, expecting whiskey, like, white lightning, and they're like, is it supposed to be green? Why like, is, is it neon this, yellow? What, is, is this it, a superpower Is mixture? this going to be, like, 4,000 proof? What is this? <laughs> Yeah, so illicit distilling, corn juice, corn whiskey, and the phrase Mountain Dew all became synonymous. I'm sure there's people, we have listeners in the South and in the Southeast, I'm sure maybe they're all, this information is uh, more than um, known to them, but I didn't know about it. So anyway, on that note, I'll take a break. If you want to get yourself $1,000, next chance to go fuel yourself. Coming up at 2.30, listen for those keywords. You get yourself $1,000. And we'll be back.